Hello and welcome to the Spanish Grand Prix. We are just about to do the race. We'll be doing a two stop of both our drivers, uh, medium, medium, soft. Starting positions will be 17th and 20th, which uh, kind of bad. But at the same time, we have <coughs> excuse me, decent setups, and uh, we'll just begin get quickly into it and speed through the race. We have one of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go! Apologies for the loudness there. It looked like it went super loud for a second. Piastri's lost a position, Duhan has gained one. Fairly alright. But again, we are basically just interested in setting up the RS trains and Here's allow our drivers here to... Uh, Progress their stats a bit, and it seemed like we might have once again set up two individual trains, which would be good. So, notice on something, Jan against C, and pull them back. And yeah, an in general, we are happy to just allow things to roll on like this. Aston Martin with a great play there, they've moved up a place. Okay, I didn't check the uh, weather forecast and I'm now being punished for it. Uh, but once again, once it starts raining, we're just going to go directly onto the uh, wets because that is what is uh, the most effective uh, thing to do, really. But since we know that it's going to be wet, we can go for more aggressive driving. I think the rain's coming down. Okay, so we're going to have some light rain. But if we have a look at the, sorry, this one, it's still going to be fairly wet down the line. So again, we're just going to go straight to the wet, to the wet tires, because as far as I can see, there's no real difference between the wet and the intermediates, even for prime intermediate uh, situations, if you will. So go straight on the wets for both of our drivers, and. Honestly, it might be a lap too soon here, but we are going to gamble and see if we might be able to pick up some lucky uh, positions. Like we've had a spin. Seems to be quite slippery. As you can see, the rainfall is going up quite aggressively here, so we might be lucky to be able to jump some people in the pits. Now, I just realized that I've done a dum dum here. I forgot to switch out the pass before this race. That is my bad. But uh, we'll have to live with that uh, decrease in performance. Seems like Norris is on the yeah the shit tires. Like so Piastri is now up in eighth, Duhan in tenth. Have to see how uh, how it holds up. If we can uh, do something else, everyone else has already changed tires. We'll have to see that when it starts pouring, they might actually go into. Uh, To switch again onto the wets and as you can see from the last lap we aren't that much slower than the you know intermediate runners we have our average lap times basically on the wets in intermediate conditions so uh again in the current build intermediates and wets you just go wets it doesn't matter you handed a lockup let's have a look now we see the williams here it's a lockup it's more like it just ran wide. Okay. Tires are overheating, which is not too surprising. Let's uh, these back to aggressive because we need those tires to last at least until lap 60, actually. So, wait a second. Sorry. Uh, 40, 45. 60 was just a potential chance of rain. So, let's just go standard and then we can push them later. Because uh, these tires do severely drop in condition when they're hot. Alpine just advanced. Uh, we get overtaken, which is not great. Let's check lap times now. We are a bit, yeah, we are actually a couple of seconds slower. These tires. It's a race position gained from Mercedes. But uh, now that we get more rainfall, we'll have to see if again the drivers might go in for a change. That's a good overtake from Alpine. So this was one day where we should use intermediates. 
interesting to look at. Because again, that is pretty high up. Looks like Aston Martin have just is this a safety car? No. Nope. But yeah, we been a lock -up. we have already gone all in on the uh, wet tires here, so we're just going to have to, uh, to run it all the way. Might get a little bit unlucky with the amount of rain not being as much as I thought it would, but uh, it's fine. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Yeah, we are falling back hard from signs at least. McLaren, gain a position. Maybe we should consider pitting. It's two and a half seconds to battle. And a new position just gained by Williams. The Oh yeah, we're gonna have to. Let me guess this is gonna be uh because we've had an immediate basically the entire time. Now we're probably gonna get uh get proper wets, but as you can see the tires have also fallen off fallen off massively. Let us try for intermediates and we'll see how that plays out. But yeah. We did a good move to begin with, but uh then it wasn't anymore. Not much I can do about that. If there had been a little bit more rain, like I thought it would be, it would have been uh, pretty good. We are doing okay Looks though like on the intermediates, so that's just good to know. Deploy some DRS here, see if we can c catch up to uh, Stroll. Apparently we don't have DRS though because of the... do we? I don't think we... I don't think we should, but who knows. Well, I could take a look at the car, but I can't remember if that's uh, when it's full vets that we lose DRS, or if it's uh, when it's stamped as well. Piastri went out on the same corner Duhan did. Kind of sad. Seems to have been a yeah, this uh, this race is all on me. We had a chance. I betted too much on uh, it going straight to the wet. It didn't, so that's my bad. But again. I really dislike this because it doesn't give you a good indication of how wet the track is actually going to be. You need to have some indication here on how many millimeters of rain you're actually going to get. And I don't think you get that even if you upgrade your weather center high enough, so that is also a consideration. I think it will be dry. It's raining a bit more, so... Oh, come on. No rain expected, no rain expected. See, 60% chance there in 3 minutes. But he said no rain expected, so... Let's trust that. The others are pitting. Uh, 20 laps. Can we do that on soft tires? Probably not. So, let's have a quick look here. Strategic view. What kind of strategy we can pull off here. Ours would be no problem, medium would be no problem, soft will also not be not be a problem, so we're gonna run softs here on both our drivers. And again, sadly, I don't think we're gonna jump anyone in the pits. We can hope, but I severely doubt that. Maybe Schumacher and Norris if we're lucky. Probably not even that, we're 26 seconds behind Stroll. does make it kind of, you know, untenable. But uh, yeah, we did apparently have DRS under the uh, the damp conditions, I would assume. Schumacher's actually pitted. Now we catch up to Schumacher. And there's an overtake from Williams. Probably not. Duhan is super far behind. Aston Martin with a great play there. They yeah, we're just gonna... Allow this race to run its course again. Nothing big. It's my bad for the strategy. Pull the Ferrari. I think someone's run wide. Tree stopper. <laughs> uh, that is kind of sad. Duhan keeps on locking up, so he's not having a good race.
See, it has he been double lapped? I think it might have. Yeah, both of our drivers have been double lapped. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. And a new position just gained by Williams. No lap. Which means we'll end up 18th and 20th, which uh, isn't good by any means of the uh, imagination, but it's just how it is sometimes. Could have done a lot better there. If I had a good interest, we might even have gotten points, so... Kind of sad to throw it away. Wuhan got 18th somehow? Oh, that's in the drivers, I see. That's my bad. Still last. I was very confused. Yeah, thank you for watching the race, and I hope that you will enjoy the next one. Bye!